Okay, we are on turn four now. As I said on turn three, trespassing warning ignored. They're literally just going to sit here and do nothing. It's just kind of silly. So don't worry about them at all. Just come finish this enemy down here. Then wipe them out. Then you're going to attack the Ziggurat of Dawn. Then Scraggy. Then come this way, wipe them out. Um, so that way, I'm just letting you know so you don't have to worry about these guys at all. Okay. So now we're going to check our diplomacy, the first thing on our on our turn. Let's see, does Marathi still like us? So Marathi is improving. So the cool thing about giving her money on the first turn and diplomacy on the first turn is she's more likely to become friends with us, which would be really strong having some uh, Dark Elf units in the Lizardmen army. We're going to upgrade the gold mine in uh, Hexiodal here. The reason being is so we can fund more troops on the battlefield. We're going to take our Lord. We're going to... Um, Move them forward. Well, actually, we're probably going to leave them here. We're going to grab more troops real quick. Uh, I wonder, can we move? Okay, he can go assault this city. The reason why we're going to assault this city is just so they can't um, recruit more. So they're going to probably attack me, but this way they can't recruit more troops to help them in battle here. It's going to make it null and void. And, okay, so, now we're gonna get more troops, and then, actually, what we'll do here, is let's see if we move Mezzamundi here. Can we actually help support and take this out? Okay, yeah, you can do this instead. Pyrrhic victory, so what we're gonna do, is we're actually, so if we lose those units, that would actually suck, because we can't get Sauruses. So, we could play this battle, or what I'm going to do is encircle one turn. And we could do this right here to increase uh, the damage of our skink units, but also could potentially turn the tide of this battle here. But like I said, we're going to just hold off one turn. Um, well, how long does this last? This Okay, it lasts 15 turns. That actually will help us with Scraggy, so let's just do it. Because I primarily, in the beginning of Lizardmen campaign, I like to use a lot of skink units. So now let's see if it's a Pyrrhic victory. So it is a Pyrrhic victory, but it's only medium casualties. Um, it says we will lose the Saurus units here, and they are taking over the Skink cohorts. So we're still going to um, encircle one more turn, but then we shouldn't lose our troops. Or we could fight. I know this is like I'm going back and forth here. Yeah, now it's Pyrrhic victory high. Like, that is What? What? <laughs> So, I think we're actually going to fight this and heal up our troops um, as much as possible before charging in. I know, I couldn't make up my mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, we are now on the battlefield. We're actually going to group this up like this. We're going to grab our lord and put them there. And our whole goal is to hope that we can get them before they come and attack us. We're going to move this right here. And I'm pretty sure they won't attack us right away. But just to make sure, we're going to move these guys back. We're going to fast forward here. Because we want to get our um, uh, other army on the battlefield here. Try to get as much winds and magic as possible too, so we can heal up all our troops before the battle happens. So basically, we are preparing for battle. So here we go. Once it starts, uh, once we get all our units through, I'm going to hit play. Yeah, as you can see, they are pretty beat up here. Um, we're going to move our temple guard to the front here. Move our source warriors to the front here. Move these source warriors to the front here. Now this, what we're going to do is we're going to group this into its own group. We're going to grab Mezzamundi and put him in group 1, group 2, group 3. We're going to put these... Oh, where are you guys going? Get back over here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Thought I grabbed you guys. The Croxigar's in the back. We're going to probably have to attack them, but what I want to do... What I want to do is heal them up if we could. Looks like we won't be able to. Except for this one, so we're going to heal this one up. There we go. 
So now that we got our army, we're gonna send them out. We go like this. We're gonna fast forward. What we want to do is get a position up on top of a hill. We don't want to be below hill. We can get some benefits there. We're gonna move these guys here. We're gonna move our one lord here. Move this lord over here. Since we have so much in the middle, I'm not gonna put a lord in the middle. And we have the temple guard. This here, we're gonna move him here. Okay, we're gonna put the Croc Cigar in the back just to be safe. This here. The Lord Mensa Moody here. Now, who else can we heal? So it says we can't heal them or them or them, but we can heal the Lords. So what we might do is try to use the Lords as much as possible here, but let's move our next move into these trees over here. Um, reason being is so that we can um, kind of scout the enemy out a little bit. Which, I don't recall them having Cav, but they might. And Slanesh is very strong with their Cav. It looks like they are not even going to show up show up to do anything here. Okay, we're going to just slowly move our formation forward, and we're going to go up on the hill here. Oops, escape. Go, and hopefully we can catch them off by surprise, maybe? Yeah, I don't know where they are. This is nuts. Okay. Um let's uh let's go this way then. Let's go this way and try to get in here and see if that does anything. Maybe they're over here. Okay, they are over there. Nice. So it looks like they are moving that way. What what spells does she have? So she has the whip, so we have to be careful on that. I'm not sure what they're doing here. Okay. So what do they have? So let's hit play. They have Health Riders and Lash, which will be probably the only real threat in the Demonettes. Okay. So let's group everything up here. Um, worst case, I would like to lose these units, if possible, versus um, our Source units. So what I may do is I actually might put um, these all in the front to take the brunt of the damage for us during this battle. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to fast forward, get them into battle here. Okay. I would like them to die, not our stronger units here. Because once we take this settlement, we'll be able to um, do some pretty decent damage to them. Okay, we're going to send this forward. Send these guys in. We're actually going to probably put these guys together. We're going to put uh, Lord Mezamundi into the middle here. Him here. Okay. Now, they're still not moving. We're going to move forward here. And hit fast forward. Okay. They are, they are doing some really silly tactics here. Like, what, like, what's the point of this, guys? Like, wh what are you doing? Okay, they're doing AI things. Okay, I guess we'll just go here where they were. I guess. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, it looks like they are starting to blob now. I wish, I really wish I had like a really good spell for that blob right now. Okay, they have their health striders. Let's rotate. Throw our units into the health striders here. Hopefully we get some good fear throws on them. Um, it's not horrible. Okay, so... That is a weird formation, what they're doing there. Okay. Send them in. Send them to turn that way. We're going to send this in that way. We're going to try to do a big, big old blobby blob. Send the Croxigars over here, too. We're going to move this forward. We're going to have him do the healing. We have him get into the uh, Devote Marauders of Slash here. 
Be here. Who is taking damage? We're going to do the revivification crystal on them. We're now waiting for the rest of the army with this over here. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see who needs help. We're going to give them some help. Who else needs a buff here? We're going to give the... You attacked in flank. We're going to give these guys a buff. So there goes a nice whip on their part. My goodness. That was a really strong whip. We're going to turn, rotate, and shoot them there. We're going to need help and support over on here. So once we break this side down, we're going to come support the other side. We're definitely going to need it. Okay. With this guy, let's do shift one. Buff our units here. These guys are most likely going to die. But they'll die for a good cause. We're actually going to try to heal them up. Give them a little bit of extra health. Get them into the battle here. I'm going to try to take out that... Oh, that was a really good whip attack. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to give the... Uh, do, 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 these guys a little buff. These are taking the front end of the beating here. We're gonna, definitely going to have him go back there and beat the crap out of the Lord. Uh, this side is doing pretty good. We're going to do the Revocation Crystal on these guys here. Come on, move it. Move it. Why are you walking so slow, bro? I didn't know it was like a, a walk to the finish line there, bud. Okay, we're going to heal them up because I don't know where the other thing is doing. There we go. That's all we got. This side it's falling. It's crumbling a little bit, but that's okay. As long as it's good, bro. Come on, get in here. We're going to have all these guys clump up to there now. We definitely need to take care of this lord, so we're actually going to have him come help with Mezzamundi here. These guys, um, we're going to probably, we're going to sacrifice them into that. There we go. Our Croc Scar, we're going to have you deal with the uh, Devote Martyrs Slash. We're going to have this deal with them. We're going to have our Temple Guard deal with them. They're in trouble over here. Perfect, perfect. We're going to definitely need these guys to beat the crap out of them. They're coming back. We're starting to lose this flank. So we're going to treat these guys into over here. We're also going to bring this into over here as well. And the Saurus Warriors are also going to come over here. We definitely need to heal up these Saurus Warriors ASAP so we don't lose them. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. We're going to heal up these Saurus Warriors. This is the unit has returned. And victory. It was a bloody battle. I do have to say that, but it is possible. It is possible. Good job, Mezumundi. <laughs> I mean, he, he, beat, he beat her up. And battle. And now we have our first province. As you can see, we tried sacrificing our weakest units uh, for our stronger units so we could keep them. Which made it made us take a lot more losses, but I would rather keep the Saurus Warriors, the Temple Guard, and the Croxagar versus the Skink Cohorts and the Skink Javelins. And there you have it. We have a bunch of money now. We got a bunch of experience, and we got a Dagger of Sotek. Enables magic attacks. Not bad. And we technically didn't lose anything, which is good. They just took a lot of damage, so we're going to hit that check mark. And we're going to occupy. Eudemus. Now what we're going to do is we're going to spend Mezmudi's skill points. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the... Um, we're actually going to hold off on this. And we're actually going to grab Route Marcher so we can head over to this area quicker. We're going to grab uh, Acrylic here. And we're going to grab Thick Skinned. Now with this lord here, we're also going to um, grab Enforce Order and Thick Skin. The reason being why we're grabbing Enforce Order is we're going to be fighting Norska soon. 
Now our commandment here, we're going to grab... Uh, we're going to grab the, um, let's see here, how long is the grow? So one turn. We're going to grab the um, alignment of order so that we can get uh, a little bit more control. Oh, no, sorry. No, we're going to grab alignment of monuments so we can get more magic while we're heading over. I apologize. We're going to check our diplomacy again. Is Marathi still like us? That's perfect. Yes. That's good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to recruit two more units here. And it looks like from taking this building, it gave us the um, the skink building, which is actually perfect for this to go here. Um, and reason being is that uh, now we can get the better skink units. So let's grab the, um, let's grab, we get frenzy armor piercing, or we can grab skink skirmishers here. These are shielded. These have vanguard for poison attacks, aquatic. We're going to grab this because they have fire as well moving too. And we're going to now end our turn. We are now on turn five. Win two battles and we get Blessed Sora Spear Shields three, which is awesome. One thing to keep in mind is every Lizardman faction on turn five will get a Blessed Mission issued. Um, every time it's going to be something different. So it could be like a Stegosaurus uh, with like archers on it, like artillery, which is my personal favorite, a Blessed Stegosaurus. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Um, or you can get like a Croxagar or Sora Spears or Saurus... Um, like weapons or like skink coat like skink chameleon so on and so forth but generally they're all really good units so now it wants us to upgrade uh machu peak so that's what we're going to do we're going to bring lord men's and back to hexiodal and we're going to bring grendel to also go back to hexiodal here and we're actually this next turn we're going to be attacking the ogres Um, we're actually going to move uh, Mensamundi forward. Can we? Yeah, we're going to do a go on magic stance to get some magic going. Since we don't have too much magic. And we're going to grab... I'm actually going to grab uh, two uh, Feral Bastilodons. Uh, reason being is they're armored armor piercing. They cause terror. So they're actually going to be pretty strong against Norska. Um, and they're not too, too expensive. So it's not going to be the end of the world if we lose them. Like, these source units are 196. These are only 170. So this will be like a good unit that kind of uses like a cavalry supplement for a little while. What would you Let's check our diplomacy. Give Does Marathi still like us? Walk. Okay, this is I awesome. Marathi still likes see. us. So we don't need to give her any money. If she stops liking you, you need to try to give her a little money. Uh, just so you don't have to go to war with her. And now we're going to end our turn. We are now on turn six. We now just got our recruitment, our technology for tablet spawning that reduces our recruitment costs for chameleon skinks and stuff, which is actually really nice. We're going to go to the Falling Gates, and the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to grab the walls once we have enough money. Um, and the reason being is because this, if she does declare war on us, at least we have walls here to buy us a little bit of time. Machu Peaks we can leave for a little bit by itself. So... In order to um, get the income that we need to make that this turn, we're gonna have Lord, we're gonna have this lord go inside the settlement. We're gonna have Mezimundi attack the ogres here. We're gonna declare war and attack. They should give us enough income to um, pay for those gates, and you can auto resolve this. Um, and I'm actually going to, just because. Um, yeah, we're just going to auto-resolve this. Decides victory, low casualties. We can heal up. It's totally A-OK. -okay. So we're going to grab the um, unit experience. If we don't gain enough. Okay, so we do gain a lot of money. We're going to grab unit experience. So we have stronger troops. What we're going to do is now go into the magic channeling stance here. We're going to put that right here. We're going to grab these guys, put them right here as well. And we're going to grab, um, actually, I think what we're going to do is, how much, that won't even give us that much health, okay. We're going to have Mezzamundi go into the settlement. Still not even that great either. Right. He's going to go magic stance, go right here. We're going to grab, um, two more units here. 
And we're going to grab the um, Skink Skirmishers. We're going to grab Mezzamundi's uh, Iron Disciplinarian. Reason being is, uh, for some reason, I always have issues with Lizardmen and their control, so I always like to grab it. We're going to grab Thick Skin so he survives a little longer in battle. We're going to check out this guy so he's good as well. Now what we're going to do is grab the Fallen Gates and we're going to upgrade to Walls. And then upgrade our um, food building here. Now for our research, we're going to grab the sequence of Skin 20 because it's the only one that we can grab. And we're going to check her diplomacy. Let's see, she is now neutral with us, but that's okay. As long as the arrow doesn't go downward, we should be okay. And we're going to end our turn. Okay, we are now on turn 7, and we're going to be starting to head towards the Norskins here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to, because this is a uh, corrupted area, we're going to go into Encampment Stance. We're going to go right here. We're going to have this unit here give uh, Mezzamundi his units. We're going to move him back one, and we're going to have him report, uh, recruit some more units here. So what do we have? We have a lot of range, so we're going to grab... We're gonna grab I don't think they're gonna have any cav or anything like that. So we're actually just gonna grab two of these guys. We're gonna check our diplomacy real quick. Okay, she's still neutral with us and we have a non-aggression pact. Let's hear it. Give the war What would you so not bad, not bad at all. Mashu Peaks is pretty good. Two turns we can upgrade that. We're gonna get way more income next turn, so actually getting some source units wouldn't be a bad idea. But we're gonna hold off from that for now. And how far can we reinforce each other? So this will actually be we go about right here. It should be a okay, and we're gonna end our turn. And it's funny because uh we are now on turn eight. It's funny because we just had like 900 plus gold last turn, <laughs> and then our gold mine just got done, and now we almost have the same amount. So that's actually pretty good. Now we're going to transfer these units into this army as well. Now it has 19 units, so we're going to move this forward. We're going to see what the uh, Norsemen are going to do here. We're going to take this army, move it forward as well. And I'm pretty sure they're going to attack us. Um, so we're going to have to, like, be very careful with that. I'm actually going to go in ambush stance in front. Um, just to maybe see if we can get an ambush on them. Uh, which wouldn't make sense with this army. We should have done it the other way around. Actually, hold up, hold up, hold up. Boom. What if we do this? Let's try. Let's try. I didn't do this last time I played this, but uh, let's try it this time. See if we can be a little sneaky deaky. And we're gonna end our turn. And it looks like, in fact, they did fall for it. We're actually going to play this battle um, just so we lose less. And the man's name is Try Gerd. No thank you, bro. I already have Gerd and it's not very nice. Like, I'm I'm good. I don't I don't wanna try Gerd. I'm good. I'm good. So let's look at the battle here. So let's see what units do they have with this loads. They have axe infantry that are armor and shielded, which they have a pretty decent amount of armor. They have berserker axe infantry, which are anti-infantry, and they're good against infantry. So what we're probably going to do is stick our archers on these guys um, to get rid of the anti-infantry marauder berserkers. And the reason being is to weaken them for when they actually go into our infantry. So it counters the, what they're good at. So anti-infantry, if they lose half their units for my archers, well, then they're going to be half as effective against my infantry. Now, the Marauder Spearmen here are anti-large, so we're going to try to keep our Feral Bestilodons and our um, Proxigars away from the Spearmen. Marauders, uh, we're going to, I mean, we're, anything <laughs> is good on them. <laughs> uh, just range units with their shields, um, they'll be able to deflect some of that. Uh, Marauder Hunter, so this is a uh, armored piercing missiles, decent melee combatant. So this unit here is going to be a problem if they start shooting at our um, our rangers, but we have more than they do, so we should be fine here. We'll be able to target 
Um, each one of these guys, we'll be able to put two on each one, so then we really damage them and then have everything else take care of it. So we're going to fight this battle so we can prepare for the next army coming up.